I woke up on a Sunday morning and I didn't feel well. Um, I did not have a high fever. I just didn't feel well and I had a cough. And so I thought I should be tested. Um, so then that Monday evening when I got my positive results, I was shocked um, and really devastated because um, my mom has terminal cancer and uh, is undergoing chemotherapy treatment. And I was just terrified that I had unknowingly exposed her to the virus. You know, I worried and worried that she would come down with symptoms and, and thankfully she did not. But it was just, it was terrifying. Before I had COVID, when I was concerned about contracting the, the virus, I would I was scared, you know, to be in the classroom with students who I, I knew could have it and, and I wouldn't know, they wouldn't know, their parents wouldn't know. And what we know about good teaching is in conflict with a lot of the recommendations for keeping safe during this time. And so I felt that conflict just constantly in terms of knowing that, you know, the students do best when they're near me when we're reading together or I'm helping them with, you know, something in math or we're having a, a private conversation. Just knowing that I, I need to do those things to be a good teacher, but I shouldn't be doing those things because I should maintain, you know, that distance. That was very challenging. The students are worried. You know, my, my kids are worried about their family members and they're worried about themselves and they just miss normal life. You know, they miss interacting with each other. Students and teachers do best in the classroom. And so in general, distance learning presents all kinds of challenges just in terms of connection and in engagement. I feel like those are the two areas that really suffer the most. And we just know that the there are long-term impacts of, of stress and trauma. So families who have experienced job loss or serious illness. And I've certainly had families too who are, you know, newly insecure in terms of food or, or housing. We know that that will have long-term impacts on those children in really significant ways. Well, I have a, two nieces who are two and four and I just miss being with them so much. And I think, gosh, a year in their life is a long time. You know, how will they, how will this impact them? Obviously their parents have been hugging them and their siblings, but you know, we haven't been there to snuggle them and, and hold them and, and establish that physical connection. I will never again take a hug for granted, right? I, I miss hugging people. Everything that you do makes a difference. Every choice that you make makes a difference for our community and for the most vulnerable in our community. We know that being in school is what is best for students and for families and for teachers. Then all of us need to behave as if that is a priority and thinking about how our decisions not only impact our families and ourselves, but also the wider community.